really excited about this recipe. What we're gonna be making today is a dish called Sweetie Pie. It's basically chicken pot pie, but with sweet potatoes. I just wanna kinda of show you guys how to make the pie crust that's gonna go along with my sweetie pie recipe. So if you've never made pie crust before, um, very simple, it's basically come up over here and we're gonna add our flour. I'm gonna add my sugar and my salt. We're just gonna pulse this. You wanna pulse the flour while you're adding your butter. This is gonna get kinda like cornmeal-y, gritty, grainy. That's exactly the texture that you're looking for. And then we can begin to add about six to eight tablespoons of water. The point about this is just to make sure it's extremely cold. Now, before we take the dough out, you're always gonna need extra bench flour. Take our dough. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start to form our dough into actual dough. I wanna use the heat from my hands to bring this dough together. And now I wanna get it into this nice flat disc shape. Use the table. The table is also your friend. And I wanna wrap this and I wanna put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before I actually roll this dough out, okay? That's very important. It has to go back into the refrigerator. We're gonna let it rest, we're gonna let it relax. And then when we take this out the refrigerator, in 30 minutes, it will be ready for us to make our sweetie pie. Finally time for the best part of sweetie pie, which is the crust, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna do a top and a bottom, okay? So I just wanna cut my dough in half and I'm gonna put the other dough in the plastic wrap because I do not want it to dry out, okay? While this is in plastic wrap, just throw it back in the refrigerator because the kitchen's warm, okay? And we don't want this to get warm at all. Now, like I said earlier, flour is our friend. We don't need too much, but we just wanna put a little bit down. And I also like to rub some flour on my rolling pin. So, I always start from the middle Okay, and I just wanna give it a nice little rock. Okay, turning it. I wanna keep a circular shape. As you can see, the dough was resting. There's no splits, there's no cracks. You don't wanna roll it too thin, maybe about a fourth of an inch. There we go. Pick the dough up, ensuring not to rip it at all and then you wanna place it in your vessel, just making sure that it's wide enough. I just wanna come around and start to form it to our pan. And this is the bottom of your sweetie pie. Sweet potatoes, my favorite thing to eat on the face of the planet. You wanna poke some holes, get a fork. You can take a knife, you can slit them, you can do whatever you would like. So once you got a few holes poked in that, you wanna take some oil, some canola oil, vegetable oil, my favorite oil is grapeseed oil. And you just wanna give your sweet potato some love. To speed up our cooking process, to make this a little bit more easy for our sweet potatoes, I like to put them in aluminum foil so I can lock in a lot of that steam so that our potatoes don't take too much time to cook. So these sweet potatoes maybe take about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, depending on the size. Um, and that's it. You need to make sure they're nice and tender. So with your fork that you stuck holes with or a knife, just kinda, just like butter. So skin on, all we wanna do is scoop out this beautiful filling. Nice, beautiful, beautiful color. What I wanna do is I wanna add 
a little bit of whole milk if you want to use almond milk. I've used coconut milk. So a nice flat surface. Open that egg. Baking soda. And then you need about a tablespoon of lemon juice, some acid to break up all this sweetness. Lightly, gently bring your attachment down. And you wanna start on slow first. Once you see the egg start to break up, then you can turn your attachment up. I wanna add a little bit of seasoning, of course salt, a little bit of pepper. If you wanna get unique, you can add nutmeg, you can add cinnamon, you can add brown sugar, make it as sweet as you want it. Some nice room temperature butter in there. Right. Try to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Taste it and adjust from there. I want to get my pan nice and hot before I get the chicken ready. So we got some beautiful chicken breasts. I just want to make some nice strips. And then I want to turn this horizontally. And I just want to have a nice little dice. Always season everything. I want to season my chicken, salt and pepper. You just want to add your pieces of chicken. If you don't hear that, let the pan heat up because we're going for golden brown and delicious. Okay. Chicken is going to take maybe about five to six minutes. I'm just making sure that it's not sticking to the pan. You can shake it around. If you're feeling like a professional chef, you know, flip it. I don't want it to go too far. I don't want to overcook it too much because it's going to spend some time in the oven. You want to take a spoon, a slotted spoon, because we're going to leave all that oil behind to finish the vegetables and That's a lot of good flavor, OK? You want to take your cooked chicken out. So chicken's here. I want to add some butter. I want to scrape up all the fond at the bottom of the pan, OK? Turn your heat down to medium now. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get these carrots cooked. Continue to scrape all the fond off the bottom. Now you want to add your onions. And we're going to let this go for about five to 10 minutes. So we're going to take a little bit of our celery now that we start to see the onions caramelize. And it's okay if you start to see the pan look like it's burning on the sides. Just turn it down just a bit. Just make sure that the vegetables are not burning at all. What I want to do now is I want to add our peas. You can't have pot pie without peas. So before I add the flour, I'm going to add the chicken back. If you don't add flour, your chicken pot pie is going to come out completely watery. And we don't want watery chicken pot pie. That's not what we're here to do. We want it nice and thick, kind of like a gravy. So all my vegetables and chicken are in here, nicely seasoned. I want to sprinkle my flour evenly all over. And at this point, you want to make sure that your stove is pretty low because you will burn the flour if it's too high. How much flour should you add? It kind of depends on how thick you want your gravy to be. Let that cook for a little bit. And then we want to add our vegetable stock or chicken stock. It's really up to you. Chicken stock gives it more flavor. But make sure it's low sodium. At this point, I want to turn my stove on medium, and I want to let this cook down until it's nice and thick. All right, now our pot pie gravy is nice and thick. Cream is optional. I always like to give it a little bit of cream. That also helps thicken it as well. Gives it a little bit more body. Make sure that your cream is nice and warm, and this is going to go right into our pie crust. We're gonna take this amazing filling that we made earlier, our chicken, our peas, carrots, and we're just gonna fill this. So, now that we have our pot pie in, I just want you guys to go crazy with your sweet potato filling. 
squeeze all this out. Perfect. So we just want to finish our top layer. Same thing like we did for the bottom, nice and gentle, ensuring that there's no sticking. Beautiful. You want to just lay this over your sweet potato. And then now we just want to kind of seal off the crust, if you will. This is my favorite part. I'm actually kind of tucking some of that dough right around the lip. Egg wash is very important. I have two eggs. You can add egg and water. You can do egg and milk. I just want to brush this very lightly around. And then we can go light brushes on top of the dough. Everything's already cooked in here. All we want to do is really make sure that the pie crust is what's cooked. Every spot is covered. My mom will be very proud of this recipe. And this is your sweetie pie right here. 350 in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's it. All right, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I just want to open the oven, make sure that it's golden brown. It's looking good. This looks good. So be careful when you take this out. Beautiful. Now, at this point, I really just want to make sure that this is at the desired color and texture that I wanted at. And as you can see, this is definitely crispy, crispy crust, and that's exactly what you want. Before you cut into this beautiful bad boy, make sure that it's cool. Cooking is basically expressing yourself with love. And, you know, growing up, my mom's always taught me how to love what I do, you know, do it to the best of my ability. And her passing this recipe down from my grandfather, then her perfecting it, and then teaching me how to perfect it is just something I just want the world to see. This is basically love, all incorporated in one dish, and I hope you guys enjoy my sweetie pie.